Good morning everyone. Welcome to Dreycorn and Springside Parish Church Sunday School. It's Alison here. You're probably thinking, where are you? What are you doing? Well, you probably guessed we are at the church gates again. Myself and David have come out early in the morning. It's seven o'clock and I can't believe there's so many people out in cars this morning. But me and David have came a walk to try and see the stars going down and the sun coming up. But when it's winter like this, it takes a wee while for the sun to come up. Let's head home and I'll tell you more about our adventure because it's a bit cold out here. Gosh, it was freezing out there, wasn't it? It's too early and too chilly out there. But let me get my jacket off and I'll tell you what we were up to this morning. David's just getting hot chocolate to heat us up as well. So, David, have you got the hot chocolate ready? Thank you. Oh, nice and cosy. And it's in my favourite mug that's got stars and moons on as well. So, let me tell you what we were up to, boys and girls. Has anybody got any idea? We were out a walk looking for the stars and trying to see if the sun was coming up to get rid of the stars. But I think the stars are always up there. What do you think? Do you look at the stars? Well, the reason we were out looking at stars was because I've been thinking about this week and what we could talk about together online. And I got thinking about the stars and the very special star that's in the Bible, the star that the wise men followed. Do you know about that? Can you try and find where it is in the Bible? And the story of the wise men, the three kings following that star that led them to Jesus. Well, me and David went out this morning looking for stars, trying to get closer to Jesus. There was so many stars in the sky. And we, as a Sunday school, have decided that we want to show our community the way to Jesus. We want to do another venture of decorating the gates up at the church because they were very, very empty. So what we've decided is we're going to have Stars of Hope. We're going to decorate the gates with lots and lots of stars. And that's where you come in, everybody out there. The boys, girls, young, old, maybe not so old as well. Everybody in Dreycorn and Springside's parish community. We want you to join in. We want you to decorate, colour, glitter some stars and then hand them in to us to get laminated and we'll add them onto the gates. And hopefully we actually run out of room this time that the gates are covered with sparkle and glitter and colour to make us remember that star that led the three kings, the three wise men to Jesus. We want to be led to Jesus. Let's see what David done to start off the Star of Hope up at the church this morning. I'm putting up the first star of hope. Hope you just come and join in and ha come and see it as well.
drinking my hot chocolate. Still a bit cold. Did you see how cold it was in the video? I think it was a bit shaky. So it was. So David has started our Stars of Hope up at the church. Are you going to join in? It would be wonderful if he's all did. Dear God, thank you for the stars. Thank you for the star that led us to Jesus. Thank you for continuing to lead us to Jesus. Help us be like Jesus. As he grew up, he was kind, he was generous, he was supportive, he reached out to people. Help us be just like him. Help us be the best that we can be always. Look after our friends, our family and everyone in our community. Help us to make sure as a community and as a church we look after each other the way Jesus would want us to. Amen. I'm going to leave you now to listen to the hymn Star of Wonder and while it's playing you can have a look at those empty gates and then David adding the stars of hope on and think about what you want to write on your star of hope, what prayer, what wish you have for the future.